Hello world, you're probably wondering why I have this hoodie on my head. It's because the world's gonna end. I heard on the news. Yeah, it's true. I heard this guy talking about the death of the world in 2012. Predictions make it clear that we only have seven days to live. Though it will be in 2012, there will be a time warp. No, we will not survive it. I'm sorry to George Washington and to all the Canadians, to the aliens. Honestly, we're not going to live anymore. You know, don't be saddened by this. You have seven days to do whatever you want. If you want to go skydiving, go skydiving. If you want to decorate your Christmas tree, even though it's not anywhere close to that holiday, decorate it. It's not Easter yet either. But if you want to have a egg contest, isn't that what they do? Like weigh the biggest eggs, whoever ha whoever's chicken has the biggest eggs, grow popcorn, popcorn farms. Why don't you just grow little George Washington trees? So you're probably wondering, uh, where in the hell did this kid come up with all this crap? Well, first of all, I'm not a kid, I'm 17. And second of all, this is the truth. February 34th, 2012 will be the day that the world will end. You're really mad. I, I can see you tearing up. I'm sorry. So, you know, I have this SAT book. Oh, alright, so I might as well show you this. It's a little Frankenstein card with a king on the back. I don't know what that's for. So I have this SAT book. I think I'll throw it away after this video. Two weeks and I take the SAT. That's a lot more than seven days, you dum-dum. Think about it. Let me try this again. It's a sad tragedy. Uh... It's a sad tragedy. Strategy. Strategy. <sighs> okay. Strategy. To lighten your spirits, I will be telling you a joke that I wrote myself. Um... This will be the- George Washington will be the guy who answers the joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Or aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Yes, I sure am glad I didn't say banana. I'm sorry, I hope that cheered you up. The 34th of February, 2012, the world will end. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna sit on that computer? It's a common known fact that aliens are coming in the year 2012. They're on their way. The FBI knows it, the CIA, and Obama. They all know it. It's a common known fact. Why don't you just Google it? They're on their way, traveling six trillion miles per hour. And by the time they get to the US, Kansas, and to Russia, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and to Guatemala, cell phone, North Dakota, and Chick-fil-A, then they're going to take over the world. You're probably wondering, how are they going to take over the world, Kevin? Well, I think I'll answer that question. They're going to drop little eggs the size of teaspoons. And those teaspoons will spread across the world in great formations. I tried to act really smart. But it didn't really work, did it? So aliens are just going to come, basically drop little bombs, and kill us. Put your cell phone ringing on the 12, 12 o'clock for that day. Because then you'll know when that cell phone ringing, your life is ended. So what are you going to do? 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 I want you to tell me what you're going to do. What are you going to do? 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 Uh, what are you going to do, George Washington? Oh yeah, you're dead. I'm sorry. Ooh, don't take that offensively, George Washington. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm coughing. That means the aliens are already attacking. Oh my gosh. It's a sign. So, I'm sorry. 2012, February 34th is your last day. I found this tree in, growing in my bed. And I cut it down. Now it's in my living room. I cut down the tree, so that way I put it in the living room and it lives in the room. <laughs> Get it, living room? Anyway. Oh, 
I was gonna tell a joke and I forgot it. I, I really, I'm new to YouTube. I need your help. If there's two people, then I need the person that has the controller, the control of the controller, the clicker, the mouse, not the hippo, the mouse. I need that person to, to click the five star. One, two, three, not four, but five. If you do that, that would be so awesome. It would take an instant. Bam! You just help me with my road to the aliens. Mind-boggling, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Now, if you really want to help me out, or if you just like this video, and subscribe, but you don't have to. Who I hate when people ask me to subscribe. If you spam on my video, I love spammers. They're awesome. Except for the ones that go P L Z G O the letter the number two M I C H A N L. If if they spell if right, you the uh mm, t then you, they spell those two, oh, actually they spell you, again, will, W-I-L-L, -L, or you, then you, William, they spell out the word William, I don't know why, die, D-I. Okay, I didn't know how to spell ghost, and I didn't know how to spell routine. Ghost and routine are a little bit harder than die. Thanks for watching. 2012. Are you ready?